There's no activities? There isn't really any activities, so anything will be better. Right. Is there enough activities going on in Preston over summer? I have no idea. There's not, there's not many activities that are already made around Preston, I don't think, that have been advertised. I don't know. Town at night. <laughs> um, we can go bowling to the cinema. Uh, like Youth clubs have like play schemes and things where you can go and do lots of activities and stuff. Is there stuff you would like to see that isn't around? I don't know. Preston is a bit boring, but I can't really think of anything else that there could be, really. So, does that mean you think everything, all bases are covered? Um, I think so, yeah. 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 I yeah. am the worker in charge at Fox Youth Community Centre, working with young children from the age of 7 through to about 25. Now, with the summer holidays coming up, what sort of opportunities are available for youngsters on school vacation? We're in Foxton where we've currently put together a plan of activities that we're planning to put on over the summer period. My main concern is that there used to be things around Avenham which used to call the place games which have ceased and they used to do the football activities um, which from what I can gather have ceased as well. They also, Preston Borough Council used to send a leaflet around which would let you know exactly what was going on for young people in what area over summer and considering summer holidays are only about four weeks away we've not received a thing which makes me think nothing's going on this year which is a bit of a concern another major concern is the sports hall up the road which young people use on a regular basis is being shut to them and people in this community are not going to be able to use it and what I can gather because Newman College have bought it. Really? Yes. And so it's not a lack of funding issue, it's change of management? Change of management. Even though lottery funding was used to acquire it and renovate it, along with other partners, um, those partners seem to be out and the community access has been withdrawn. So do you think that's going to have an impact on the area? I think it's had a massive impact on the area. I mean, it, they, they had an impact on the area when they got rid of their pay-as-you-go. They used to do a thing where people in this area could go and pay just as and when they used it, which suits a lot of people because we have a high level of unemployment in this area. They got rid of that and said you had to either sign up to a three-month membership, running membership, or a direct debit monthly. And obviously, most of the families in here, all young people, couldn't afford that. So they were sort of um, segregated. And now this has meant they've got nothing. So apart from Foxton, which does open every day, uh, well, sorry, six days a week, um, and we let them use that area for football and basketball and things like that, move the cars, that's about the only place they can go. So what would you like to see happening in Preston? I'd like to see a lot more for young people. I mean, for me, when you were talking before about SRB6 and a lot of the original monies that came here, when this was originally designed and the plans of this area were set up first of all, one of the things we were going to put in this area was some sports facilities which was going to be football pitches and stuff for young people to, to go on and use. And that's what was touted around here when they came here to get members of the, this community to actually sign over to this new housing association and uh, when they built it they didn't put anything there so the kids play a part which was supposed to go around the back of houses over there never materialised the sports pitches that were supposed to go over there never materialised and another one over there never materialised so a lot of people I think and even said they were duped because the original plans what they actually built here is not what they showed people at the community meetings what this place was going to look like so I would like facilities for young people, not just in this area, but in, in Preston. Um, I think the leisure centres are either too far away or too expensive. So we need to offer facilities for young people to be able to get to and be able to afford to use. At the moment, we've got here, but we can't do everything. And you've got, okay, you've got football in Westview, but the cost implication to get there and to get in excludes a lot of people from this area. 
Now you mentioned earlier there was the um, the absence of a leaflet from the council. Do what information streams are available to people? Is is there any internet communications, Facebook or social media or web pages they can refer to? Do you know? Or from, you as in from the council? As in from anybody? Anybody um, pointing out what's going on? If there is, I've not seen or heard anything. Um, and you would, wouldn't you? Well, most of the most of the people I work with here, I would say probably about ninety percent have access to Facebook, and are on Facebook all the time. Now, one of the biggest complaints at the moment, and we was working here last night on Monday night, is the fact that it's coming to summer. It's coming to summer holidays. They want to be playing football. They used to regularly go and play football up at the Sonic Centre, and that's gone. And it's what they're going to do because. Like I said previously, they had, I think it was sports development, mm -hmm. used to run activities over the summer months and they've not heard anything because normally they advertise in schools as well, so they know exactly what's going on and they said they advertise here and we've got nothing here. Um, if it is on the internet, I haven't seen it and young people haven't seen it. So if they haven't, then obviously there's a, a communication barrier there because then that information is not coming out to now, people. As we were saying before, is there a structure for your equivalents in different areas of Preston to communicate with each other regularly? I would probably say no. I mean, I'm fortunate that I, as well as working for here, work for the Young People Service, so that communication between other workers for me is natural because of my other role when I wear another hat, so I can still talk as a voluntary sector person and as a YPS person in those kind of forums but as you say to talk about people in Canada might be doing some work outside of that kind of forum then no I'm not aware of that going on there's, there's like I said there's no messaging boards no bulletin boards there's no email contact there's no nothing so I think we're for a better word working in chimneys I mean in fact we should be really we say communicating say, okay we're doing this in the area we're doing that in that area what are you doing and a matter of maybe sending young people around to different kind of things to get the best out of what's available. So you definitely benefit from such a network? I think, yeah, I think we would benefit. I think young people would benefit because then they've got more options. Because I think we have young people who live on the border of two different areas, so they'll have an option to, to come here one day, to go somewhere else another day. Also, I think it breaks down some of these barriers where we've got certain clashes we've seen different areas of the city. And I think if we're doing a bit of that crossover working, it could help reduce a lot of those problems. I think we've ended up having a city now that has got little segregated areas, which just do the wrong thing. But in fact, we should be looking at trying to be more cohesive and working together.